There are many people around the world who claim to know, speak to, or who are guided by Jesus. What would you like to say to those people who feel these things are true? Well, some of the people who know me certainly do know me. Um, you know, some of the people who believe they know me, I've certainly visited either in my sleep state or in the past when before I came to Earth. And even now, every time I go to sleep at night, I visit many people around the Earth. So there are many people who believe they know me or who, who have actually been visited by me. So there are many people certainly who speak to me as well. And I do not feel that... Uh, Many of them actually speak to me, the individual me, um, although that, that is possible to occur. Like I visit many people when I'm asleep and when I'm awake, and many people get to, to speak with, with me as a result, so they're speaking with Jesus. Many people feel they are guided by me, and, and while they feel that, I, I am not a guide of any individual person on the planet, with the exception that I am perfectly happy to share the truth with every individual on the planet and in the spirit world. And in that way, I have been a guide for many millions and millions of people who have passed and who live on the earth. However, many of the people who claim these things, that they are speaking to me or guided by me or have seen me, have not seen me, have not spoken to me and are certainly not guided by me. Many of these people are, guiding, are guided by spirits who are masquerading as me. There are many millions of spirits, in fact, in the, in the earthbound condition around the surrounding the earth who claim to be me and who influence people through their belief systems about me. So what happens is that many of the people on earth believe that Jesus is still in the heavens and visiting them any time that they desire to have them visit. And as a result of that, many spirits come to them masquerading as me, making out that they are me, and they portray to the person's mind a picture or a vision, and they say the words that uh, usually that meet with their, the language of their own religion that would tend to indicate that they're me, and they are not me at all, but they are spirits who are actually mischievous, and many of them maliciously, um, influencing the individuals who claim they have a relationship with me. Now my suggestion to people is to ask themselves whether the first part of this question that I answered is, meets their circumstances or the second part does. Now if people have spirits coming to them saying oh, I'm Jesus and I think you should kill somebody or I'm Jesus and I think you should go to war and all those kind of things it is quite obvious that uh, those particular spirits are not me because I never have those kind of feelings towards others. When it, there are some spirits in the spirit world who are masquerading with me who do not have those emotions or feelings, but rather are connected to the personal addictions of the individual on earth and use those addictions to get something from the person. So my suggestion to those individuals is to have a look at what these spirits are demanding of, the, of them as an individual and what, you know, and if they're demanding anything at all, then it would indicate that these spirits are not the persons they're claiming to be. In addition, I've spoken to many spirits on, the, on earth this, in this time and also in the first century who claimed to you know, be the Messiah in the first century or nowadays who claim to be Jesus. And I've also spoken to many spirits who claim to be my disciples from the first century. And after I've talked to those spirits, they admit that they're not those particular people. The, the problem with any spirit interaction is that it needs to be questioned. And most people on earth do not question it because they believe that automatically a person, when a person passes into the spirit world, they automatically become honest. And that is not true. People do not automatically change when they pass into the spirit world. If they deceive here on earth, there's a high likelihood they will attempt to deceive while they're in the spirit world when they first pass until they learn that while they do so, they are not personally progressing. So my suggestion to any person who's making these claims is to analyse the which kind of spirits may be affecting them and what those particular spirits uh, may be saying and what kind of actions those particular spirits are encouraging them to do because these kind of things will determine what kind of spirits are actually connecting to the persons. Mm. It is true that I do communicate with people on earth as a spirit when I am in my sleep state and it is true that I do spend a lot of my time all around the earth trying to answer people's questions just as I do in my awake state. 
So um, the reality is that many people have the capacity to speak with me, but my suggestion is that they would be far better off entering a dialogue with God than with myself. God does not have my limitations, and God has far more power than I do, and therefore far more power to answer all of their questions and also far more power to give them the love that they need.